not falling this time. Hey y'all! Hey y'all, welcome back to the eBay shed. Yep, here we are. Still got the shadows. We're working on it though. I think I need some lower light. We'll figure it out one day, but we appreciate y'all coming back and watching. Of course, on this channel, uh, we go around, me and Nikki T, we find uh, items at yard sales, estate sales, different uh, places, and we uh, find them and buy them at a good price so that we can resell them for a profit on eBay. Helps our family and makes us a little bit of extra income. Uh, and it's a blessing going out to eat money, having fun money. Uh, so this is what we do. I'm a full-time pastor, and this is what we do in the fun time that we have. Uh, a couple, maybe three, four hours a day. Fridays is my off day, and Saturday uh, we knock it out and get as much estate sale, yard sale footage as we can. Maybe y'all saw one of the uh, last videos. Doggone fly just went by. Did y'all see him? Uh, but hey, today on this video will be, uh, today is Wednesday, so Wednesday and Thursday sales, which will actually be Tuesday and Wednesday sales, uh, maybe some uh, Thursday sales as well that morning. We'll share with you what we have sold. And yep, here comes uh, JC and Reagan coming in, so uh, y'all come on in. Look what I got. Here's my sweet kiddos, what'd you get? It's a Lululemon wallet. What'd you buy that? Your wife bought it for me. Oh, it isn't my wife so sweet. Well, y'all, here's uh, Reagan and JC. They have both, uh, they both now work at Chick fil A and they're uh, both heading into work. They got the same exact schedule today. Uh, so after they leave, I give my hugs and my goodbyes. Uh, I will uh, be back and we'll show you what we've listed and some of the things we've sold. Welcome to this episode on Rev Resale. My wife, Nikki T, and I love to find treasure at estate sales, yard sales, and really any sale. What you want for them? Uh, whatever you want to make. Oh my, don't say that. Come along and see either what we found or what we sold. Now to today's episode. Of course, Wednesday is a work day for a pastor. Uh, so one of the things that I do is uh, Wednesday morning, get up, do a little bit of Bible study, do a little bit of running around that I may have to do. Uh, any of the items that we have listed the night before, when I first come in to the eBay shed, when I first come in uh, before I, my son, every time he cranks up his truck, he revs it up. I don't know, y'all, where he gets that from. Maybe that's where I get the name Rev from. Uh, but he, man, he revs that, that full barrel up every dog on time. That's why it only gets 10 miles to the gallon. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll get all this stuff put up. I have custom label SKUs where I know where it is whenever it finally sells, I will be able to find it. But let me show you some of the things, uh, not only that we have found, but some of the things that I have listed. We'll get these put up. I promise y'all, I need to do more listing. That's how you sell on eBay. Here's my eBay tip of the day. Um, maybe this is something that that uh maybe there should be a whole video about it but i want to give you in today's episode i want to give you some tips about uh selling on ebay maybe i'll give you three because i'm a pastor I will, i'll do always three points in a poem uh so here's uh the first one if you want to sell on e ebay you have to list on ebay now that sounds crazy but a lot of us, like our family, like Nikki T and myself, we love buying. We love going and finding deals at estate sales and yard sales. And y'all, we have our formal dining room and a spare bedroom that is holding our uh, unlisted inventory. We can list it from in there and we bring it out here and put it to where, to where it's sold. So tip number one, you've got to list it list it list it the old man is learning and he's selling hot wheels and he's got literally he's got ten thousand plus maybe thirty thousand i don't know how many he's got he's got a pile of them but i told him old man you'll never you'll never sell them if you don't list them so list 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 tip number one all right what have i list list listed lately uh, of course a wwe encyclopedia uh, a couple of wilts and gloves pretty good glove this is about a 50 dollar glove pretty good shape uh, a karate book it's an old uh, karate book pretty good um 
Here is a Ford Bronco, 66 to 86. It does have a little bit of water damage on it, but uh, all the pages are good and readable. Um, I don't particularly like Garth Brooks all that much, but uh, here's a Garth Brooks uh, sealed, the limited series, six uh, CDs. And then y'all, I got a bunch of hats I listed. Carhartt, Steel, Bass Pro Shop Club, uh, I think this is Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Got two of those. Uh, here's another knife, uh, Bench Made. Uh, everybody knows what this is, a Ruger hat. And uh, Remit, or Remit, I don't know, uh, Remit hat. Maybe that's what it is. I think that's another knife brand. So I got all that listed, so y'all know what I gotta do. I gotta hit that custom label skew and get it all put uh, where it goes. And after that, I'll show you what's old what do we sell on ebay now that is really important to know what sold on ebay and uh y'all the first thing that sold is right here is that not cool uh happy holidays uh north pole it comes with uh it comes with a battery pack and actually a, a snow globe that tells you how to do it but that big old rascal right there is gonna need to be packed up and uh, i want to make sure that's the one happy holidays snow globe works Y'all know that went for uh, $39.97. Now I just gotta find a big old box to put this big old rascal in. But let me get it over there. Let me get it packed. All right, y'all, I have to be honest with you. Um, my eBay shipping hero is uh, Lonnie at Shed Flips. Uh, Lonnie always, at first I thought was well, when I watched Lonnie pack, Lonnie, I know you probably won't see this, um, but I thought, well, he's going overboard with that. He's just doing too much. I've seen some of those comments on this channel, but when you ship something and it breaks on the way and they, uh, a lot of times people say, oh, they're just scamming you, but no, sometimes stuff breaks. And the reason it breaks is because it's not shipped that well. So one of the things I want to make sure is that when I ship an item that I have it packed really, really well. Lonnie, I appreciate you for doing that. So this is a 12 by 12 by 12 box. And you see, it's not, not big enough. So I've got to get another 12 by 12 by 12 box and kind of put it around the outside, you know, whatever I got to do uh, to make it big enough so that we can get this packed and packed in well. Uh, so I'm going to wrap it and uh you know what i may i may put some paper at the bottom put it in pack some paper around it uh yeah let's do that y'all gonna get to hear a lot of paper i think it is really important so important that i needed to uh i needed to put this in first It's in its bottom. Void fill. Void fill. Remember, I always put my thank you note in. I think that's important. I need the 12 by 12 a little bit taller. So I'm going to uh, put that there. Get my other box. Get it set on here. I've just taken another 12 by 12 by 12 and made a top. It's just a top for the box we're going to put on and then tape it on. It is just a 12 by 12 box that I've cut about four or five inches uh, off the side. Uh, I'm going to cut down on every one of these edges so it'll sort of, the edges will press in some so the box top can fit on it. See, just kind of a little bit there, a little bit here, a little bit here so that when I take this, go around like this, and put a top on my box. And you see, now the top of the box sits in. Now if I take that up, of course I'm gonna pull it off and put some fill in it. Now I'm gonna tape all the way around this edge, and I've got a 12 by 12 by 14 box. Uh, which is the size I needed, but I didn't have. But now with a Franken box, I got it. 
Well, y'all, I hope Catherine likes her package because there it is. Snoopy Snow Globe is packed up and ready to go. Uh, next, we have a lot of 11 L28 uh, Marvel Comics. So, Marvel Comics. So, L28 is probably in this box. Um, let's see. L28, L7, 8, 10, 11, 13, 15, 19, 21. 25 27 that's a l28 l28 where's l28 l31 l27 l25 i gotta look for l28 i always talk junk on folks who can't find their mess um Hopefully L28 is just put in there wrong and I put in L28 and it's actually not L28. Maybe it's L27. Oh, let's see. L27. I think there was an issue with this. Uh, L27, look in there, L27. Uh, so we see this comic here is this comic here so i think i just have my numbers wrong um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven does look like 11 comics so i think i got it gave me a little scare but y'all it's a good thing that i uh, have my computer out here other reason other uh i would be doing it on my phone otherwise but if we look we see of course this one is here uh this comic is doo -doo 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 -doo. this comic is on there as well this comic is there uh the big 100th issue uh marvel tales starring spider-man is right there so uh i think this is uh l28 and i had l what number was on that was number 28 on that say l27 it had me messed up so i'm all discombobulated i sold that y'all for 14 dollars 98 cents plus shipping shipping comics i always uh wrap cardboard around them then wrap some bubble wrap and then put them in this put a label on it uh in a poly mailer that's the way i choose to do it and i've not had any issues in shipping uh so hopefully it gets to uh dale and uh once again I sold some comics. Next, I believe I sold uh, a snap-on wrench. This is a uh, 19 millimeter, 21 millimeter. It's for a flare nut, a brake line. Uh, doesn't have to be a brake line uh, wrench. But it went to Alan. Uh, Alan, I think you may be a viewer of the channel. Uh, Alan, I think you have watched some restoration and you're watching this one. Uh, so Alan, I want to thank you. $37.97 for this wrench. It's in DMS3, so drawer M. M is not labeled uh, S3, I see. S3, here it is. Uh, it is this uh, this wrench. Uh, pretty good shape. All right, next I sold a Bible, $22.47. It is a genuine leather Schofield study Bible. It is on A2. Uh, so A2 uh schofield bible right here a burgundy red letter old schofield study bible uh that went for uh 22 dollars and 47 cents plus shipping uh you're wondering uh all right what is it that is tip number two tip number one if you remember uh tip number one in, on the ebay list is a uh, list 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 you've got a list right that is the best ebay tip if you've got stuff you want to sell on ebay you've got a list 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 what is number two yep there it is you can't hardly see it but that says buy right so you've got to buy your items right. Now, what does that mean? What does it mean to buy your items right? It's really important. When you go to state sales, yard sales, any sales, you go to try to get something at Walmart. 
I don't know, do arbitrage. I don't know how it is. Maybe you're going to eBay uh, to resell on eBay. I don't know how you're purchasing your product. There's a lot of different ways. Maybe you're going to Goodwills. You're going to thrift stores. A lot of different ways you can buy stuff to sell it on eBay. But it, it makes it makes zero sense to buy an item for $10 and sell it for $11. You see, it really doesn't make sense unless it is a movie. You want to watch a movie. You pay $10 for it, and uh, you're already going to be buying that. So because you watch the movie and you don't want to watch it anymore and you sell it for 11 hey, that's great. You, you've watched the movie. You've already got the value for the $10, and you're recouping part of your money. But if you're buying for the purpose of reselling and you're not going to ever use the item, you want to buy a $10 item for $1 or maybe two. Uh, you want to buy right. Uh, if you go and, and buy a $100 item and you only get $120, well, guess what? eBay is going to get their fees. You've got to go through the process of listing. You've got to go through the process of selling. You're storing until it sells. Then you've got to go through the process of shipping it, putting it in a box, buying the box, finding the box. There's a lot of cost. So if you want to, uh, tips on eBay, you got to list, list, list. Tip number two, you've got to buy right. One and two really go together. Uh, if you purchase items right, if you get them at a good price so that it makes it profitable enough to resale, then it makes sense. So really one and two could go together, right? One and two could be one A and one B. List, list, list. And you better buy those items right if you're trying to resell them. The next item that I sold is in a uh, drawer I and it goes to uh, Jerry. Uh, Jerry said he saw this. I'll, I'll read it exactly what Jerry said. But yep, Z Jerry is the first one to buy these. Got two more. Uh, but y'all, I, I pointed it out on the video how cool these are. Uh, Jerry actually sent me an offer for $20 and I was happy to take it. Uh, it's actually six of these vintage pens. And uh, it's got Cheetos, Doritos, Tostitos, Fritos. It's got Ruffles and it's got Lay's. And uh, so we really like those. Jerry actually left a message and said, uh, saw these on your video last night and really wanted them. Thanks for accepting my offer. Keep up the good YouTube content also. So Jerry, I appreciate you so very much. I've got a little note for you uh, on your uh, invoice that I'm going to send in the package. Hope you enjoy the pins. Uh, I, I was tempted to keep, keep at least one set myself, but got two more for sale. Username was Jerry Patrick. It looks like maybe uh, Patrick is what he goes by. So Patrick, I got your... Uh, pins boxed up and ready to go once again thank you so very much um if you've got ebay tips leave it uh leave it down in the comments maybe some that some that you have uh so remember uh the two ebay tips that i've shared so far there's going to be one more before the end of the video uh list number one or point number one list 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 if you don't list it i guarantee you it's not going to sell and point number two you got to buy right you've got to make sure that the content of what you are buying the contents are going to be the price is going to be low enough that it's going to be worth it to resale at the value it resales there's a lot in that buy 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 because you got to know how to comp to know how to buy 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 maybe we'll talk about that on another video but you've got to buy right if you want to be able to list it and sell it all right y'all you should tell me not to do this but i've got a plan of going tomorrow our guy is actually he's an estate sale guy and he's uh opening up an estate sale for a pre-sale for for me and nikki t tomorrow night uh, and he told me, he said, man, I hear you like Barbies. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness. He said, hey, we'll give you the right price. So that brings us back. List, list, list. I listed Barbies and they're selling. But if I buy them right, not $525, but maybe like $3 or $2, then uh, maybe we'll get them again because they have sold really, really well. I sold this one today. Uh, this one is the final uh, one for the day. Sold this one right here for uh, $13 plus shipping. So they're not big money makers, uh, but they do sell and uh, they're fairly easy. If the boxes are in good shape, just take a picture of them, list them and they're gone. So uh, list, 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 buy right. That's a good tip. So what is the last tip? <laughs> well, hey y'all, welcome to Thursday. Of course, Nikki T, myself, and Moose is down here somewhere. 
I think he's over here. Uh, Moose is hanging out in the eBay shed. Uh, so, so far, we have given eBay tips. How to uh, make profit on eBay. How to do well on eBay. Remember what they were? Uh, for you, it's just been like a split second ago. Uh, but remember, we've already given two, and I believe I've already recorded number three, but you'll see a little bit later in the video. Uh, number one is list, list, list. Well, today, I've only got four orders to pack. Why? We haven't listed. We haven't listed, listed, <laughs> listed. So it's our fault. What have we been doing? I've been trying to buy right. Of course, I'm full-time pastor, so Wednesday's a crazy day for me. A lot of things going on. Today, I did get to go to estate sales, bought four or five items. But here's one I bought and already listed. It's my favorite book in all the world, and I'll turn it around and show it to you. It's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, here it is. Uh, this is a uh, Bible. It's uh, Universal is the name of the company. Uh, it is genuine Moroccan leather lined. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, pretty nice. Line Weber paintings. Uh, the marked Bible. But listen, y'all, this is pretty cool. Look at this Bible now. Copyright 1928. So this mm -hmm. Bible has been around for as long as you have. A long, uh, yeah, as long, <laughs> longer than Rev's been around. <laughs> Uh, see how this is a Bible, and uh, you might want to say, well, uh, what are you listing it for? You know, I'll give you $10 for it. Well, y'all, this Bible is listed for $149. So uh, uh, we've got it listed almost 150 bucks. It's a nice Bible. It's one that I like, and uh, I know there are Bible collectors out there that will probably like to have that one. The condition of it is just outstanding. Uh, so we listed it and listed that one pretty high. That is the only thing we have listed so far today. Oh, you ain't gonna play over there. Oh, you ain't you gonna see it. Turn around my face and keep pawing at my face. What's wrong with your face, dude? What's wrong with your face? Pawing at my face. Oh, no, you can't play with that. Nope, not for you. All right, y'all, Nikki T's pulling orders, and I'll tell you what they have sold for. Uh, this uh, Corvette, which is Corvette. pretty cool. Corvette. Jeff Corvette, so Jeff Gordon, Jeff Corvette, Cars 2 Car. Uh, that sold for uh, $8.50 plus shipping. Nikki T's gonna pull out a trading card now. I don't know if y'all are, if she's actually in the picture. But y'all, she's pulling out a trading card. A uh, trading card. Is it? Yep. Yeah. There's just one though, so. World Championship card, this is it. All right, y'all, here's the next listing that uh, we have sold. Uh, this went for 10 bucks and only 69 cents shipping because it's going in uh, the mailer. Uh, but this is a, a, a Mewtwo and Mew, uh, actually World Championship 2019 card. So pretty cool, we'll get that sent out. Want to see me get some packing done? <laughs> of course, I love the uh, these cars because they're really easy and simple uh, to pack. And we only have four, so everything today is really easy and simple to pack. And the reason why is because Nikki T hadn't listed. She just wanted to sit around and watch Netflix and YouTube and. Oh. You know, she wanted to watch Lonnie and wanted to watch 88 Dave and all these resellers. She even watched this new reseller, uh, Rev Resale. She watched his video the other day. Uh, so that's why we hadn't been uh, listed. He's kind of cute. Kind of cute. That's what I'm talking about. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, the Mewtwo, of course, just goes in this little simple uh, mailer. Slide it in. I always put my thank you note uh, in, even with the cards. Uh, get it slid in, put a label on it, and that's done. I'm Quickest. The wicked looking cat. Is that the wicked looking that's one? The one sure? that's eyes you sure? Yeah, we sold a wicked looking cat. I'll show it to you in just a minute. I'll pull it up on my phone and let you see the picture of old that's said it. wicked cat. That's the tabby with the real looking eyes. 
tabby with a real looking eyes. <laughs> Two. Third thing we sold today. Uh, you know what that is? Nope. What is it? It's an eyeshadow palette, but it's empty. It's Mary Kay's palette holder. I like selling stuff that you have to put on there that it's empty because they can't say whatever's in it wasn't good. It's a brand new palette, perfect palette. Uh, that sold for a big whopping $8.97 uh, plus uh, shipping. So I'm grateful to get this packet, palette, perfect palette shipped pack. out. Yeah, perfect palette packed. And uh, we'll put it in this mailer here. And uh, I know it'll get there fine. It's got enough bubble wrap on it. You can play baseball with it. It wouldn't break anything. So uh, getting Dana her, Dana Faulkner is the one who bought that. You remember Dana and the co? I don't either. I don't have a clue who Dana Faulkner that. is. Oops. But we're, uh, we're going to send this to her. Glad she got something from the store. And finally, is this an ugly looking cat. Y'all, this cat is our sale of the day because we didn't sell much anything else. Um, it's rather large though. Yeah, I've already sold something since we've been out here videoing. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, orders. I'm going to show y'all the cat. Let's see if we can pull it up. Oh, there it is. Y'all look, look at here. Can y'all see? Can y'all see said cat? I'm gonna hit back here. Look at there. That's what the cat is. You, you, how much would you pay? The eyes would look at it looks you. Looks like it's falling. Look at it. You. The eyes. Look at there. It's almost Halloweeny. Yeah. Um, but this cat went for uh, twenty-seven dollars and ninety-seven cents. So we're gonna get a big box. We already got bubble wrap around it. We're probably gonna wrap some more stuff around it. We're gonna make sure it gets there and gets there safe. And uh, we're grateful for that. So y'all, uh, to close out the video, I know it's really important. If you're trying to sell on eBay, uh, of course, if you've been doing it for a minute, you know you've got to list. If you don't list, you'll have four sales, even with a, almost 900 items listed. That's just the way it is. Uh, but I have found when you list and list uh, and buy right, so you've got stuff you got at a good price, and uh, the stuff that you have is good stuff you will be amazed um how it'll sell and how it'll sell well so the poet didn't know it um but that's just good stuff there y'all and uh i think now uh, me and nikki t are gonna be done for the day and then i'll go back to david uh, old ray of yesterday and he'll tell you number three uh, y'all tip number three is this you ready do it again tomorrow that's the tip you've got to be consistent uh that's one of the big struggles that i have because of ministry because of life uh if you're really wanting to run ebay as a business you've got to do all three of these things you've got to be able to list effectively You've got to be able to make sure you list the products. You've got to buy the products at the right price, good products that are willing to sell and can sell on eBay. And you've got to do it again tomorrow. You've got to be consistent in doing it over and over and over and over. You'll get the shipping down. You'll get all this type of stuff down. But I promise y'all, if you list, 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 if you buy right and do it again tomorrow, you'll be very effective on eBay. Uh, so y'all... Uh, we, we sold eight on a Wednesday. I'm not a prognosticator because I'm in Wednesday. I don't know what we sold in the second half of the video, what we sold on Thursday, but y'all guess what? Uh, hopefully there were good sales. I know there was a cat because it's already sold. Uh, but y'all, we thank you so very much for watching. And we know no way of closing out any of these episodes and saying, well, we always say deuces. May God bless.